With the surprise ending of Season 4 of Handmaid's Tale, I think we can all agree that Season 5 is going to be a wild ride. The show has been airing for several years and has quickly become one of Hulu's most popular series. We've just received confirmation that Handmaid's Tale will be returning for yet another season and it seems like the writers have several new ideas in the works for a few more seasons in the future as well. Let's take a look at some of the leaked information we have about Season 5 and where the series may take us. But first, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. I brought myself here so that I could tell you how much I hate you. Hulu's season 4 finale of The Handmaid's Tale left us all desperate for answers. However, the fifth installment has finally been confirmed. Elizabeth Moss is the star of the series and she posted an Instagram video in December 2020 to announce the good news. This took place five months before season 4, which was delayed by the coronavirus pandemic. Bruce Miller created the Emmy-winning series based on Margaret Atwood's novel. It premiered its fourth season of 10 episodes on April 28th. The fifth season's content is unknown, but the cast and crew are excited to start. Miller stated that Hulu and MGM were very grateful for the show's return for a fifth season. He also expressed gratitude to loyal fans for their support. He said he's delighted to be able to continue telling these stories with the amazing cast and crew. Let's take a deep dive into everything we know about the show's upcoming return and what the showrunner said about Season 5 Beyond. Elizabeth Moss, along with several Handmaid's Tale castmates, announced that Season 4 had recommenced and that Season 5 was in the works. She said, Season 4 came to you in 2021 and we've been renewed for Season 5. Thank you to all the fans of the show who make it possible for us to keep working on this show that we love so dearly. We're hard at work now bringing you Season 4. Literally, I'm on set as we speak. Just can't tell you what's set, you'll have to tune in for that. It's safe to assume that the majority of the ensemble will return including Moss, Yvonne Strahovski, Serena Joy Waterford Serena, Alexis Bladil, Janine, Madeleine Brewer, and Dowd and Aunt Lydia. O.T. Fag Benley will play Luke, Max Minghella will play Nick, Samira Wiley as Moira, and Bradley Whitford as Commander Lawrence. Amanda Bruegel will play Rita, Sam Yeager was promoted to series regular in Season 4. McKenna Grace will be appearing as Mrs. Keys, a wife turned handmaid, and Zaw Ashton will play Mora's girlfriend, Una. Even Joseph Fiennes, who played the role of Fred, is expected to return. Miller said that he believes we'll see Fred again in flashback scenes during an interview with Entertainment Weekly. Elizabeth Moss is likely to direct some episodes, which will be incredible to watch. She's an incredible actress, and I can't wait to see what she does as a director. Miller revealed to THR that the series' star directed episodes 3 to 8 and 9 of season 4. This isn't going to be the last time she directs. Bruce Miller, the showrunner, hasn't yet decided how far The Handmaid's Tale's future will go. THR reported that Miller had told them in December 2020 that he had very differing ideas about the show's timeline prior to the pandemic, but he has since changed his mind. I do feel like after this year, it's a good time to reassess, he said. So I know where I am in the story and I do feel like we're kind of reaching a pivot point, but whether that's the end or not, I don't know. I just feel like it's a good time to reassess what you were thinking just because the story world has opened up because the real world hasn't changed so much. When speaking during a panel in early 2021, Bruce Miller said that he has every intention of continuing on with the series, so long as Elizabeth Moss plans on being involved. He said, Every time I come upon a season, I don't know what we're going to do, he said. And every time we get to the end, I'm thrilled and feel like we could go on forever and ever. I'm so excited by how crazy the season 4 story is. As long as Lizzie Moss will do this with me, I'll keep going. He later spoke to THR saying, When I said that I'll do the show as long as Lizzie wants to do it, that is born of the pandemic and born of the work she's done this year. She deserves to have me there writing for her as long as she wants. She earned that this year. I'll write beautiful words for her to say for as long as she wants them to say. Future seasons are still to be determined, but there's a Handmaid's Tale spin-off in development. Hulu has acquired the rights to Atwood's 2019 sequel, The Testaments. Miller told THR that although production problems caused by quarantine had affected the project, it was still being developed. He stated, I mean, you're kind of already laying the groundwork for The Testaments because now I know a little bit about more in the future than I knew before, he told the outlet. Handmaid's Season 5 will likely follow June as she deals with Fred Waterford's death, 
fights against Gilead and tries to rescue her daughter Hannah. I don't think she's done, and I don't think she's fully satiated," Moss said when speaking about June's decision to kill Fred. Moss spoke with THR after the season 4 finale and said that she believes June wants to bring the whole system down and with that would come saving Hannah, saving Janine, and the proper revenge on Serena. Strahovski shared with L.com the fear of what may happen if Serena learns about Fred's death when she learns that June was responsible for his demise. She explained, that's the biggest threat. And if she goes out in the real world and gets released, especially if she gets to keep her baby, that's the part that will constantly have her living in fear. Miller spoke with L.com to say that he has some ideas for what Serena will encounter in the upcoming seasons. He stated, I'd like her to have just one moment of realizing what she's done. Because Serena, although she has mixed feelings about Fred, and certainly the death of your abuser is a complicated emotional thing I imagine, she also doesn't like to lose. And I think she would definitely feel like this is June coming into her house and taking something from her specifically and then gloating by sending her the finger and the ring. So I think that June has definitely poked Serena and it's gonna be very interesting to see how she decides to come back. There's also the question of Gilead's fate as a whole. Will Fred's murder push the regime into more chaos? Miller told THR that Miller's brutal murder could be a rallying cry for the Gilead uprising. It has the potential to push things in a ton of ways, he said. It could push Serena to be a very sympathetic figure. It could push her into a rage that is inexplicable. It could push her into a level of freedom. For June, it could push her to infamy or it could push her to prison. I feel like we're out of everything. Pancakes are up. And we can get out of your hair. Give you guys some time. So there you have it. Everything there is to know about season 5, even though season 4 may have only ended a short while ago. It's pretty clear that the showrunners and actors are all gearing up to begin filming the next amazing season. The verdict is still out regarding when season 5 will premiere, but let's just hope it's sooner rather than later. This show has been releasing one killer season after another lately, and it shows no signs of letting up in the future. Fingers crossed the new season will be launched at the beginning of 2022 and there will be no further delays. Let us know what you're looking forward to the most in Season 5. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos.